All right, guys, this is a quick video on how to import data into Icon site using a CC80 tablet using a USB stick. <clears throat> the first thing I did, I copied and pasted the files that I want to load onto the CC80 onto a USB disk, and it has to be under a data folder. That's where you copy and paste. So I've done that. I've inserted the USB disk. I'm going import with the plus sign. Reference data will be your surface model and your DXF. So using a USB disk, I'll change it to from not internal memory, but this is my external USB disk. Okay. I'm not bringing my control points into reference data. That's going to go to control. So I'm going to use an XML and I'm going to take a look at this DXF here. Make sure some of my settings are set right. Hit this button. Make sure your units are set to US survey feet. Um, I'll leave the rest default and green check. Green check again. Okay, now we need to bring in our control if we haven't already. Again, we're using a USB disk. I want to take a look at this ASCII here. Make sure it's set correctly. I've got a uh, comma delimited ASCII. I've uh, got my ID, point ID, northing, easting, elevation, and description. Make sure US survey foot. It looks good here, so I'll green check, green check again. And that's how it's done. Back home, if you want to take a look at what you have, you can go to cut fill, um, zoom in. Let's see here. Kind of looks a little bit too jumbled. So what you may want to do is go to your settings, maybe turn off this geo. That kind of cleans things up. Also notice if I change this to 3D and, and zoom in, it's kind of hard to see my line work. So you may want to hit this uh, uh, button here, go to view options and turn off surface triangles. And that's much cleaner and easier to look at. You want to change your view to a split screen view. You can do that here. Maybe make this side um, a cut fill or cross section. So that's how you load data. All right, thanks, folks.